In this tutorial, we'll be going over the pricing tables module. If you're selling a product, then a pricing table module is a great way to show all the features that you offer. You can also place tables next to each other to show the various features and how they compare with each other. You can also feature certain tables um, if you'd like to bring um, prominence to a certain um, plan. So here we have um, a basic page. I like to it's going to be my join page. I like to add some pricing tables down here. So let's go over to our builder. And we're going to add the pricing tables here. Just going to click the add section button to add a new section. And then I like to then I like them to expand the full width, so I'm just going to add a, a one column row. And then I'm going to click the insert modules button to choose the pricing tables module. Now once you click the pricing table module, a new window will appear where you can add new tables. So click the add new pricing table button to add a new table. You can choose whether or not this table is featured. You can give it a title. I'm going to call it bronze subtitle in um, the basics. Currency, you input your currency symbol here, so I'm using US dollars. Now, if it's um, a recurring plan, like an annually uh, recurring or yearly recurring plan subscription, you can add um, how often the customer will be billed. So I'm going to say it's per year. And the price is $39. The button URL. Now, if you're selling a product, you might want to be linking to PayPal or linking wherever uh, to whatever page you'll be collecting payments. I don't have a URL, so I'm just going to leave it blank for now. And the uh, button text: uh, Join today. Now, the content. This is where you add all the different features of your product, and you um, can separate each feature feature on a new line, and you can um, start each new line with either a plus or a minus symbol to um, delineate whether or not that particular feature is included in the plan that the table represents. So for example, I'm creating the bronze plan. It probably doesn't have all the features. So I'm going to start a new line with feature 1. It has a plus symbol because it includes it. I'm going to then do another line. Feature 2. Feature 3. Now I started this line with a minus symbol because feature 3 is not included. And neither is feature 4. And that's it. I'm going to click Save. We've added a new table. I'm going to click Save again so we can see, uh, see what we've created so far. I'm going to preview the changes. Scroll down. And here we got this pricing table menu. Now it's really big because I added it to a full width column. Um, because I, and I intended to add more rows or more tables, so let's add some more. I'm gonna go back to our pricing tables module and I'm gonna add some new tables. I'm gonna make this new one a featured product. I'm gonna call it the Silver Plan. Subtitle a little better. Currency U.S. dollars. Price forty nine dollars. Oops, per year price $49 button URL blank for now button text join today content feature 1 included feature 2 included feature 3 included feature 4 not included and save. There we go. And let's add one more. Call it the gold plan. This is not featured. Gold plan. Oops. Subtitle. The best. Currency. US dollars. Per year. It's $59. Input your button URL. Input the button text. Join today. And your content. In this case, all the features are included. I'm starting each line with a plus symbol and I'm going to save. And we got three different tables.
the bronze, the silver, the gold. You can adjust the order. In this case, I want to keep it the same. Silver in the middle, which is featured as our most popular plan. And save. I'm going to preview the changes. And our new pricing tables have been added. And you can see the features that are not included are grayed out, while the features that are included are not. These join buttons would link to whatever URL you input. Here's the year, the per setting, so it's per year. If you didn't input anything that for that, it would be blank. You have your title and then your subtitle. And that's a basic overview of the pricing tables module.